All right, everyone. Yeah, um, the next couple of minutes, I want to take you through a presentation on DLC Ready Rack. Um, that's uh, about the Open Rack V3, how to combine the technology into into a, a Ready Rack. There. Uh, my name is Tom Schreiner. I'm working for Retal, and uh, I'm from the solution sites there. Uh, we saw a lot of very interesting presentations just now on the, on the high power bus bar there. Uh, a technical deep dive. My objective is today. Uh, I just want to run this through you a little on on the uh, what is what's co coming from the customer side there as well there. So I hope I get this running here. Okay. Right. Okay. So the. Uh, the OCP platform enables a real good opportunity uh, for a lot of um, for a lot of solutions there. Um, usually, a lot of adapters are hyperscales, big customers, big big enterprises there who have a lot of knowledge in their in their data centers there. And uh, today, I want to just focus on the more how can OCP the solutions be adopted by small, small and medium or mid-sized enterprises and colos there. So we have a lot of issues on that one there. We know DLC is more complex than air cooling. Uh, we have to ensure that uh, a safety and interruptible uh, operation is, is, a, uh, is given. Um, that's the most relevant. We have to maintain tolerances. You saw that uh, who from you who has been here in the uh, in the session there with uh, with the manifolds, for example, what tight uh, uh, tolerances we have to match here, for example. And then uh, uh, for creating a system, uh, we need to have a holistic uh, monitoring and controlling to observe the main system. I think this those are the main questions for a, s a customer who wants to set up such a system there. So this is what's changing. There's no secret. Everybody knows that. So we have a we have a, a real uh, change in the technology there. Um, if you look at the McKinsey um, um, projection here, we look in uh, 2030. Uh, we look at an increase of more than 500 percent of the power consumption there on data centers, uh, mostly driven to Gen, Gen AI. So this is certainly a topic which we have to address, and OCP is the perfect solution for this one there, and I think that's the main topic here also at this show. But get, getting there back to the rec level there, what does that mean for the rec level? So what's changing? Right now we probably deploy a rec with 15 kilowatts there. Uh, what's coming next? Going in a, may, maybe 30 in, a, in, in a year's time, we're going to 100. And even uh, we had conversations also where, with, uh, with customers who targeting maybe to going to 500 or to 1 megawatt per rack there in, in future there. If this is going to happen, we will see that. But certainly there's a trend there. And the right picture here shows we bringing electrical power into the system. We process power. And we have to get it out there. That's that's the issue to be solved, and this has to be solved in a solution there. Therefore, we need it also in a controlled way, and we need to monitor the system there. And this is the this is the uh, challenge which we have. So what's what's uh, what's the challenge here? So we have power shelves in there. We have BBUs in there. We have uh, we have DC bus bars, manifolds, big connectors, CDUs facility water connections, rear to heat exchangers, and we need a certification for it. We didn't have that on the 19 inch, or at least to a certain extent only, but it's, the complexity is very uh, way higher than, uh, than we have this on, on a traditional 19 inch or air cooled solution there. Looking at the individual components here. So we asked the questions on the from the power side on my uh, on, on the power shelf there in, in, in the, the bus bars and the DC bus bars. Uh, what is the right power? What is the pow right power for my configuration there? And then also, what is my configuration? How does my configuration look like? How d how can I maintain the system and, and protect it for overheating there in the, in the in the bus bar there? What is the right combination of a 
P a power shelf and, and a bus bar. What's, what about the cables? I, how do I have to route them into my rack there? If you see the power whips, one of the pictures earlier we, we saw on the high power, we have tremendous uh, of power whips you have to run through the, through, the, uh, through the rack. And then you need also the decision top or bottom axis there. This is all what, cu what customers will ask there. Uh, selection of the bus bar, is it 18 kilowatt, 29 or 140? What, what is the right one there? And then um, if you look at high power bus bars, there's a tremendous weight there. How do you integrate that in your, in your rack there? We're talking about a weight of probably more than 100 kilograms on, on just to install that there. How is a, a SMB doing that? And then certainly the right rack solution there. Is open rack right now, which we have, which is good. Uh, but is there maybe a bigger rack needed in the future because of those circumstances there with, with uh, powering and cabling? From the cooling side, the question is liquid to air solutions. On the one side, how do I deploy my, my pumping units there, my radio heat exchanger, my sidecar systems if I use them? Or on the other side, on the liquid to liquid solutions, how do I uh, Im implement my CDU, my quick connectors? And also a very good presentation this morning on that one there. Um, and then also the, the manifolds there. And how to deploy this whole system on the facility water and the connecting piping there. So what type of couplings I'm gonna use there? We have good uh, specification already on there, but what does that mean for uh, for the uh, for the uh, SMB market there? How can they access the solution there? Flow rates and pressure drops need to be monitored and, and need to be ensured in in the right way. And then uh, also the return force, for example, when you install a, a liquid cooled server, what does that mean to the rack there? What force is going to get that back there? And then also tolerances and position has to be has to be uh, looked at. And then from the cooling side, what is the right CDU and water connection there? Systems tuning on the CDU. How how do I do my uh, balance my whole system there? If I have that. And then uh, also the, the, the pressure drops there. Power connections within the OCP have to be in the environment. And then uh, also the water distribution in the manifolds need to be equalized. This is all which has to, do, to be done and, and uh, achieved. Right, and then uh, mechanical adaption. We also see at the show that uh, right now the, the systems are getting on 19 inch there. A lot of adapters has to be um, have to be designed. How is this going to go? How how does a customer get the adapters there for for the racks there? Right, and then also the system certification. First of all, how to monitor and control that? How is this whole system controlled? And how can uh, can the, the protocols uh, being uh, set to, this, to the BMI systems, for example, what type of protocols I'm going to use there? And then last not but least, the uh, certification on, on that one. Uh, so the certification needs to be also in place if I want to uh, set a complete solution there. This is the reason why OpenREC v3 we need uh, we as a community we need to create a whole solution there for the customers that they can adapt that to balance it out it's great to have the specification worked out here and bring that together there in terms of power rec cooling monitor and controlling there with all the individual components there so what is the summary of that one there dlc is more complex than air cooling is Various components need to be aligned, synchronized, or tuned. And particularly the SMB market and the mid-sized customers don't have always those competencies in-house. They, they have to either rely on consultants to, uh, to create a solution for them. OCP is the, great, the absolute great important uh, basement for these future technologies. And therefore, the, rec, uh, the DLC Ready Rack 
as an infrastructure platform will drive will drive that. So my purpose on this today is here just to create such a community, maybe as a subgroup, um, that we can work together and work out solutions for the customers there, based on the great work which the community is doing there. I think that's the main purpose, to bring all those topics together in, in, one, in, uh, in one solution, that the customer can actually go say, okay, I need this one, uh, this solution there, and I have, have a, uh, and and this is my my problem, and I have this solution there, which I can take off the shelf there and there, from an infrastructure pers perspective there. So with that, I leave this to you. So if you want to get involved, uh, we have the the chairs here. The call to action is then. I have a little bit of a problem here with my computer. Sorry for that. Um, is if you want to get involved, we have the Reckon Power Group. We will maintain this through that one. And I uh, would, uh, would like to have a lot of people on board creating this because this is a great expertise here, deep dive expertise, which we can use here. Thanks for that.